What's up, Taurus? It's your girl, Jupiter, Pink Alchemist here. Ready to bring you your general November 2018 reading. Taurus, I use music to help me with the uh, energy reading. And this is Black Street. We're going to take you back. Uh, if you take your left from me, I'll go crazy. The title of the song doesn't quite do it. Anyways, you guys, this reading could be, um, this reading is general. Take what resonates, leave the rest, leave it all. Use for entertainment purposes, live your life. I hope you guys are being your positive affirmations. Continue to love yourself. Continue to put yourself first. And, um, listen. <laughs> Somebody want to cry if you walk away. They going to cry like a baby. They going to cry like a bitch if you walk away. And they're begging you to please stay with them. Don't leave them. They're just now seeing what it is that they did fucked up and wrong. And they're just looking like, please don't leave me. Yeah, yeah. Here, let's see, let's see what's going on. I ain't going to talk that shit yet. Let me see what's going on. <laughs> Let's get these bloody cards out. <laughs> if you sail away, you'll take the centerpiece away from me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Please stay with me tonight. Let's turn this down. You guys, you... Showed me so much love for my October reading. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Thank you for clicking on my, my videos, being guided to click on my videos, being guided to listen to me this far, because I know how that should be. <laughs> Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for clicking on my video. Thank you for commenting on the comments. Thank you for thumbs upping. Thank you for all of that. I appreciate all of it. Thank you so much. So let's get into this. Now, this top row, Taurus, will be you. This either will be... Now, this is Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus. So, whoever's here watching this video with me right now, this is supposed to be you guys up here. But take what resonates. Because this could be y'all, too. I just did Scorpio, I believe. And I felt like they were more the bottom row versus the top. But, you know, it could... It could it, either way, either way. So, y'all are very intuitive yourselves. Use that shit and know what it is so anyways whoever's here with me this is you guys and this is who you're thinking about so in the past position we have the three of clubs this is you guys feeling like you've done all that you could do in a situation um your hard work is going to pay off though so everything that you've been through with someone you're going to soon that is soon going to be translated in action within a situation another situation so what didn't work out, what may not have worked out in a, you know, a situation that may have came across as positive. I'm so sorry, you guys. I just drank something and I'm like, <laughs> I keep trying to burp and I don't want to burp because <laughs> I don't want y'all to hear me burp. <laughs> Taurus going to click off like, ew. <laughs> Taurus don't like nasty shit. They like all beautiful things. All, you know, perfect, beautiful <laughs> things. So, anyways. <laughs> but y'all can appreciate real shit. So, if I burp, <laughs> y'all just know I was tired of holding it in, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm human. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Somebody feel like that, y'all. Y'all did. Y'all felt like in the past that y'all have done all that y'all could do in a situation. <sighs> tired of dealing with something so the next song is controller by drake i'm gonna turn it down a minute you guys In the present position, you guys are working hard. The Jack of Diamonds. 
It's somebody working very hard. Um, you could not be saving your money the way you're supposed to. I gotta see Taurus. Y'all know, I know y'all work y'all's ass off. Y'all be working hard. Y'all, somebody could have not been doing what they supposed to do with their money. It's like, as hard as y'all work, y'all gotta be stacking up. You gotta be stacking up. So, somebody here hasn't really been stacking up. They kind of been doing shit with their money that they really not supposed to. Um, just maybe having addictions or something. Things, I mean, things could be coming up. They could be helping their family out. They could be uh, catching up on their bills, trying to get their credit uh, up. Um, it's, it, it reflects more of someone being like kind of loose with their money, kind of uh, irresponsible with the money. But I feel like this could be this could this could come this could be of helping somebody with your money, doing something with your money other than saving it for yourself. And it may seem a little selfish to highlight that and to put that out there like oh you got to keep it to yourself but there's there's a cutoff point there's there's a there's a time for a yes and there's a time for a fucking no so keep that in mind with the two of spades this is someone being this is someone refusing to, to acknowledge the truth in a situation this is someone withdrawing pulling back um from someone that wants to communicate with them or you want to communicate with someone but um it's coming off difficult to you for some reason you're reluctant to you're reluctant to talk to somebody again you might even be reluctant you might have to give this person some type of apology as well as a fuck you it's like fuck you very much <laughs> it's like that type of energy someone who needs to almost address a situation to have some type of clarity for themselves and someone and in this in the same person feeling like fuck them they did this and that and this and this to me like they know uh-uh um whatever it was in the past you felt like you did all you could do in that situation and you walked away from it now you're getting your money together, but you're having a hard time putting the money where it's supposed to go. You want to come towards some someone, someone wants to come towards you, but they can feel that reluctant energy that you have. Um, they want to be able to come together on the same playing field. You apologize and I apologize. But I think you are looking like, what the fuck do I have to apologize for? But it's something that you're not, re you're reluctant to acknowledge. It's something that you're refusing to see, to acknowledge. Um, let's see, let's, let's see what's going on. Let's continue to go. Ooh, yes, Taurus. Where did you come from, baby? My shit, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody said we can get it right, baby. You my PYT, honey. Take it to the max. Go on, Michael. No. No. Uh, you guys. <sighs> I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> it's an important phone call. But I know if I stop, I'm going to have to stop the video. <laughs> so I have to continue. So I'm going to cut my little concert short. And then I'm going to slide on this phone call because getting y'all's reading out is important to me. Okay. You need some loving. PYT, pretty young thing. I'll take you there real quick. So anyways, you guys, this is the other partner's energy right here. So with the king of hearts, we have someone who is a kind counselor, someone who people go to for advice. This is someone who has their emotions in check. In the past, this person was able to appear like they were the king. like, And they were. People came to this person. They looked to this person for advice. They came to this person for things. 
um, to you know fix fix their problems. And Taurus, this could be y'all because you guys play this role a lot to me. Um, you're also able to check your emotions at the fucking door, like, and make it seem like you are easy peasy, good to go. So this is how this person came off in the past, as if they didn't have any problems. Um, not that, that not that they didn't have any problems, but nothing really phased them to be problematic enough for you to see that shit on their face or in their everyday life. So with the nine of hearts, this talks about unfulfillment. This is someone being content with being alone right now. So this is the present energy. So this person is, they've come from a place of hiding their emotions and, you know, keeping it moving, continuing to be the king in everybody's eyes. But now I feel like they're dealing with a lot less, a lot less things. They're dealing with their, it's like, like, it's like this person is seeing their own self-worth now and trying to love themselves a little bit more so they've taken themselves off the scene they've pulled back their energy from multiple people multiple aspects in their life and they've they're starting to realize that being in solitariness is not doesn't equal being lonely this person used to maybe think oh if i don't have a ton of fucking people entourage around me then I'm, I'm whack, I'm not fun, I'm not the man, I'm not happy. But now this person is starting to see that this doesn't, me being alone doesn't mean I'm lonely, like I'm not lonely. I'm actually pretty fucking peaceful with just being in the company of myself. This person can is, is satisfied with being in the company of themselves now. With the four of diamonds... This talks about someone guarding their resources. So in the future, this, this card stands in our future. So this talks about someone guarding their resources, someone not socializing, someone holding, someone not socializing, holding themselves apart from society, pulling back. So as I said, this person pulled back from their everyday norm situation. They pulled back from the people that they were you know being there for and their environment they're pulling back from it they're tired of hiding their emotions they're tired of doing that and making it seem like they were good they're not necessarily distraught and fucked up and hurt either but they want to focus on their self now they want to focus more on their self-worth so this could be you just this guy this this could be you guys you guys could be possessing this lower energy, the you know the lower half of my 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 deck energy, where you were making it look like you were emotionless and not emotionless, but you know things didn't phase you, and now you're starting to see you know you're more you're more of your self worth because you're pulling back from a certain situations that were pulling your energy and making you a certain way and making you be a certain way, and now you've kind of not only pull back but just isolated yourself a little bit but it's a healthy isolation it's not necessarily a hermit mode um the next song is tupac rather be a nigga i gotta do this one time y'all know <laughs> if y'all don't know i love tupac fucking with niggas is insecure water down my shit is pure write down my number but don't call me till you're sure it's kind of relocate between your legs it's re experiment, it's ready sex. You wouldn't let me. <laughs> hey, okay, look. I hope this resonates with somebody. Hop in my comments, like, share, subscribe. I feel like somebody want to be, a, they don't want to be a man, they want to be a nigga. <laughs> ah, okay, look, y'all. Y'all talk to me, Tauruses. Let me know what's going on. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for thumbs up and continue to bless me with your love and light. I appreciate it. All of it. Thank you.